Hi everyone, so as everybody knows, I am a massive fan of minimalism and I like to include or incorporate a minimalistic approach in the way I, you know, run my home. I find that by having less um, stuff, less clutter, um, keeps my stress levels down, um, means that my days run a lot more efficiently and I just allows me to sort of be able to appreciate um, the things that I really value in life. Now, by no means would I ever call myself a minimalist um, because I'm not that strict on myself. I do have things. But recently, um, I did a huge uh, a declutter and I did a 30-day um, minimalism challenge, which was an incredible experience. And I went through a bit of an emotional roller coaster doing it. Anyway, the other day um, I was in, in my car and I was in looking at my um, bathroom closet and my bedroom um, drawers and I noticed that the drawers and the cupboards were starting to fill up again and I, you know, you, it made me realise you can't just do one massive sweep and just think you're done for a while. You have to constantly work at trying to maintain um, a minimalistic or a minimalistic, I guess, lifestyle. So it's been about ooh, almost three months um, since I did the um, 30 day Millison challenge. And while I don't think I can do that again quite yet because um, the clutter levels aren't that extreme, but I have decided I'm going to do a mini minimalism challenge um, on a regular basis and um, just to you know, keep things in check. So um, I decided <laughs> in, this, like a, in a moment of spontaneity to do this. And I threw one thing out of my car. It was like a cushion for Rocco, and I don't know why I was holding onto it. I, I just don't know. So it's straight into the bin. Um, since then, I found a few things that don't actually belong to me that somehow are in my house. So I'm able to return those things. And I'm also going to go through my clothes on the weekend and um, declutter those as well. So I've basically done days one to three, and already I can feel my. Um, uh, I started to feel better about myself even going through um, I had some mail that had been sitting there it was just paperwork that I had to, to complete you know things that, some forms that needed my like tax file number and bank details as part of the thousand dollar project some shares that I'd bought and I just kind of like let them sit there on the um, uh, entry table to my house and just in doing this in starting this challenge just sitting there and actually forcing myself to just complete that paperwork so I can fold it up, put it in the envelope and post it and have it out of my life has already made me feel, um, given myself a feeling of like self-worth and, um, and happiness. Odd, I know, but anyway, so I'm gonna obviously continue on this vlog. I'm doing a 10 day um, minimalism challenge and I'll keep you posted. So already done days one to three, done. Okay, so the other weekend I achieved day four. I put um, Rocco's cot and a few other things on Gumtree with all the money going to the thousand dollar project and I ummed and art about putting some of Rocco's stuff on on Gumtree like things like his cot and stuff because um, obviously I'm a single parent but hopefully I well I hope one day I will have more children and I was thinking well if I sell the cot I'm just gonna have to buy a new one hopefully in a, in a few years time but then I sort of realized, you know what, the cot is taking up a lot of space in Rocco's bedroom. Um, he does need to get into a proper bed now. And the reality is I can just, closer to the time, if it happens, I can um, buy another cot on Gumtree for the price that I essentially sold um, his for. So that cleared up a lot of space. And in cleaning out the cot, I discovered all this other junk and crap that I've been storing under the cot. Um, so it's good to get rid of that. So I got rid of um, day, day four. Yay! So whilst Rocco was having an extraordinary long nap, which was great because it gave me a break, um, I managed to get through days five, six, and seven. I made sure I had done all my laundry so I knew I had all the clothes that I had were sort of in their designated areas. And I got through, went through my wardrobe and Rocco's wardrobe. And for some reason, I was putting this off for so long. And I, and I don't know why, because it actually did not take long at all to go through each of our wardrobes. But everything is now so neatly organized. Like all the clothes are folded, all the t-shirts are like stacked up together, all the jeans are stacked up together, all the shorts. Um, it was great. And I've now opened up my drawers and Rocco's drawers and everything just looks harmonic. Um, 
Anyway, um, in doing this cleanse, I was able to yeah, get rid of a lot of stuff and I could actually, more so for Rocco's Wardrobe than mine, but I was able to see what brands of clothing, you know, weren't wearing very well, um, you know, sort of stretched or shrunk or um, stains hadn't been able to get out of clothes and I was able to throw those out. And it was really interesting. I realized there's a definitely an underlying lying theme in the style, the color, the patterns, love my stripes, um, that I buy for both myself and Rocco. So it felt really good. And one thing I realized is I was able to get rid of all these odd socks. I don't know why I do this, but I get an odd sock and I kind of like burn a candle hoping that it will find its long lost partner. And I swear my washing machine eats socks because we had so many odd socks. And I decided that's it. I drew a line in the sand and just went, what? Like all these odd socks, they're just creating clutter. And because I leave them out to remind myself to try and find the missing sock. It just is, it, you know, again, clutter. So I threw out all the odd socks and it felt really good and I was really proud of myself and everything is nice and neatly organized. So that was days yeah, five, six and seven. I'm now moving on to days eight. Yay. So I've just done day eight and I feel like it took eight weeks to get day eight done because I'm running out of things to get rid of, which should mean I should be in a happy place in that I only have what I love value use and appreciate in my life but um, it was actually really frustrating because I look at things and think surely there's got to be stuff in my life that I can um, I can get rid of and keep culling but um, it's not and it's causing us this inner conflict with myself which is driving me nuts so yeah day eight I feel like it took eight weeks to get through day eight um, but two more um, steps to go days nine and ten and then I'm done and um, hopefully I'll have a new revelation by the end of day ten in this mini Middleton challenge which is starting to drive me a bit crazy. I've gotten through day nine which I did um, pretty much yesterday and today and I'm pretty sure I even overachieved um, day nine and threw out more things but I just put myself in this very um, in this almost aggressive zone where all the things I'd been coming back to thinking about and umming and ahhing whether I should get rid of I just went in and just got rid of it and I've put a pile for some friends to give them some um, clothes and accessories and then other stuff I've just like put in the bin because I just simply don't like it and I don't like the sounds a bit kooky but I don't like the energy of it so I've been a lot more ruthless and I managed to power through day nine which is funny because I was struggled so much with day eight so now that I'm in this, still in this zone, I'm going to power through and hopefully accomplish day 10 today. So the other week I finished the challenge. I got rid of 10 things and I think I ended up getting rid of 10, more than 10 because it was really easy to do it. And it was a combination of like giving things away, um, things that I've been looking at for a long time, sort of umming and ahhing, and then I just decided, no, that's it, they're going. Um, so it was actually quite easy to power through. I thought I would feel really good once I finish this challenge and yes I am definitely proud of myself and I'm going to be doing more of these challenges because I think they're really good but two things I realized from doing this um, one is I wonder whether sometimes I may be a bit too harsh you know I was looking at the things I was getting rid of um, and you know thinking though you know gosh that was a bit of a waste of money but that's okay I'm giving them away but if I if I don't really love values and appreciate, I just want it gone. And I just think sometimes I'm a bit, maybe too much of a perfectionist um, and a bit too brutal. But the second thing that I realize is I've got to be a lot tougher with what flows into my home in the first place. So, you know, maybe when I'm out shopping, buying things and not really concentrate, I need to stop that because it's just creating more um, clutter in my home and creating more stress for me. And I guess one other final little thing I've realized, and this is going to be a new challenge I'm going to do a vlog on, is with Rocco, I have got to also try and exercise some control around minimalism with him because that's one area I don't mess with because I am very respectful of his toys and what make brings him joy and happiness and I'm not going to be the one to judge and control that but you know if you come over to my house on a weekend um, the amount of toys and broken toys and um, torn paper and coloring in pens and just 
stuff that's just spread throughout the house creating so much mess and clutter and um, a bit of stress for me is is crazy and I think I need to maybe take a little bit more control of it and and teach Rocco a few things about playing with one toy at a time I think it's really healthy that he plays with his toys um, instead of like sitting in front of the TV or on an iPad so I encourage that creative outlet but I um, I myself need to maybe try and lead by example and help encourage and stimulate um, his imagination in playing with things. So my next minimalism vlog or, um, or video that I'm going to be making for you on minimalism is going to be my experience and probably my journey and challenges with Rocco and minimalism and children. So stay tuned. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to the official Sugar Mama website and follow um, me on Instagram. So that's it for this video. Ciao for now, and I'll see you next week on either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao! <laughs>